Hey guys, so recently I put an old vintage set of Nikon stills lenses together and cinevised them myself to use for video. Ta-da! Whoa! I got a lot of questions about how to do this, so I'm gonna break it down here and let you guys know. There's a few companies out there that will provide this service for you and you just ship your lenses to them and they send them back all finished and pretty, just like this. I chose to do this myself because I like taking things apart. B, it was way cheaper. Uh, one of the companies quoted me about $1,500 to do these six lenses, and the Cinemod that I did myself cost about 400 bucks. Now, Cinevising a stills lens for use in film and video generally means three things. Number one is a standard front ring. I got these from cordvision.com that takes all of the existing filter sizes on the front of the lenses and gives it a standard 77 millimeter filter size and an 80 millimeter outside diameter. When you're on a set, you can just easily swap filters and it's easy peasy swapping from one lens to another. And then the outside diameter is 80 millimeters, so it's standard to throw a matte box on here and it'll make it nice and light tight. Second is adding a geared focus ring around the lens to use for a follow focus. I got mine from followfocusgears.com. These are sized to fit exactly around the existing focus ring on your lenses. And then last but certainly not least, is declicking and dampening the apertures. And what that does is remove the hard stops, that little click that you hear when you switch from aperture to aperture on the aperture ring. Aperture, aperture, aperture. For these Nikon lenses, all you essentially do is remove a few screws, pull the aperture ring off, and take a little metal tab off of the inside of there that causes the hard stops. Now you can't just put the aperture ring back on after you're done declicking it because the aperture ring will move too freely, thus changing your exposure while you're filming. You have to put something in there that slows down that spinning and keeps it in place. People that do this professionally use a very specific kind of grease. I found a grease for this purpose on Litax.com. I am thrilled that I took the time to dig around, find the rice grease. What is rice grease? Find the right grease to do the job. These apertures are so smooth. I also picked up simple 80 millimeter caps for the front from B&H Photo. All said and done for all six of these lenses and all the pieces to Cinemod them, it cost me about 2,500 bucks. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. So feel free to drop me a line and let me know what you think.